why is this snake not approaching me? Why is it not chasing me? Oh, that's actually pretty. Yeah, so that black tail really crossed a lot of homes to get to where it was at. So I just caught a Western Diamondback in somebody's backyard and there were a couple of things that were notable about it. I wasn't able to record the actual capture for a few reasons, but I got the release and here's what I know. This snake was up against the back door of the house in an area where there's really no place that it could possibly den. There was nothing there that it could use. So this snake was displaced. It was a young snake, probably picked out the wrong spot to use for the winter and either got kicked out because of all the flooding and rain that we've had recently, or it was a fire department relocation which means that they just kind of tossed it over the fence and didn't really know what to do. So let me show you that snake real fast. Oh, she's hiding her head, poor thing. It's a little female Western Diamondback. I'm gonna find a pack rat nest to release her into and hopefully she doesn't run into any more backyards. This for sure is being used by rattlesnakes. I mean, this is some pretty good stuff. Here we go. See that hiss that it comes on the inhale. It's kind of an interesting thing. As soon as she feels like she can, she's gonna turn around. And I'm saying her because you can see the shape of its body, her body, where it is pretty wide up until the tail and then it's suddenly really thin. This is a young female Western Diamond. That seems to be in no hurry at all. Here we go, as soon as she sees a hole or something, she's gonna get out of here. Not taking her eyes off of me and not aggressive. This is about as defensive as a diamondback is gonna get. And uh, if you're in that mode of people that likes to say they chase you, why is this snake not approaching me? Why is it not chasing me? As soon as she sees that there is an escape path, she's gonna go. All right, there she goes. See ya. Headed to a call uh, in South Phoenix. Gentleman has what he said was a baby rattlesnake in his front yard. Hello. Hi, how you guys doing? How are you? Good. Perfect timing, it just started coming out. Did it, nice. Little baby, I heard? Yeah, it looks like one, at least it did. It all filled up a little okay. bit. Okay. What do you think? Where is it? The right there. The oh, okay. Um, ooh, it's a black tail rattlesnake. Not a baby baby, but definitely a, a juvenile. What is a black tail? A uh, cool rattlesnake. Yeah. <laughs> I think snag him before he gets back in. Oh! Oh, that's actually pretty. Yeah, come take a look. He can't get out. He's gorgeous. Oh, oh so a oh, oh, black tail? Black tail, yeah, you see black his tail. black yeah, tail yeah, right yeah. here? It can't get out? No, nah, you're good. <laughs> no, you're stepping back. <laughs> you're good, you're good. It's <laughs> like the first snake I've ever seen. Like really? That. This is a cool one. Definitely. I wish I felt like it was cool. Don't you think he's cool looking? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming yeah, out. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for watching. So what do you guys do with it? I want to go back into South Mountain. He won't come back. Oh, there he goes, rattling. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, okay. Not a happy camp in that. Mm -mm. Wow, very really interesting. He's cool. Thank you for yeah, you're welcome. Do you want me to poke around your backyard just I to would love check, it. check I would the love friends? It. Okay, I'm finishing my packing for a couple weeks in the Amazon with the rest of the team. And uh, it's this careful balance of thinking and reconsidering and deciding if you need that or if you used it last time. Uh, usually I tend to overpack, but I also like to be comfortable when I can. So let me show you what I got. Probably pretty similar to what the other guys have. Backpack, snake bags, one big bag for uh, Bushmaster, hopefully. Plastic bags, all kinds of stuff for being sick, which I will be at some point. Water stuff, gloves, boots, snake gaiters, bags, and some tools, Garmin, all kinds of stuff. And I gotta fit all that stuff in here. It actually is not that hard. Harder part is deciding what comes in here. My backpack that I'm carrying on. Same thing I've learned uh, from the past the hard way is you should always carry enough stuff to at least it won't ruin the trip with you. So if my bag gets lost, then I can at least still have a good time, just not maybe as comfortable. Let's see what else we got. Okay, photography gear. This is all the stuff that's gonna be going into my backpack. 
You need flashlights. Cannot be hiking around the jungle at night without them. GoPro stuff so that, you know, you can see what we're doing. All the chargers I've put in here, you know, this is the bare minimum. It's still overpacking, but I don't, I don't care. I like it. And most importantly, lots of dry socks <laughs> and everything individually bagged. Because if a drop of water gets in your bag in an environment with that much humidity and heat, it's never going to go away. All right. I wonder what the other guys are bringing. All right. Well, just uh, prepping some of my clothes and my tools. The hooks and everything are soaking in some bleach solution. I just did my first round of permethrin, the insect spray. I'm gonna do that a little bit more. So to do these trips, it's pretty involved. I mean, just to prevent bug bites and sicknesses, we got vaccines, we got sprays, we got all sorts of things. So no malaria, no typhoid, but yellow fever. No mosquitoes, no ticks. And then the bleach solution for the tools is for the animals so that if there's any nasties, the animals that we've relocated or caught well out in the field will not go to the Amazon. And then I got my freaking huge, uh, I don't know, probably four and a half foot hook for the big long vipers and the things up in the trees. What it really is is just the Midwest tongs. There's a a collapsible set so there's a two set and a three set and what I do is the two set is longer than the three set obviously so I put the middle section of a three set in between a two set life hacks hashtag for days all that jazz all right well I was just finishing up with uh, spraying my clothes and I talked to Jill and Brian and they were saying don't just do like your main clothes, do every article of clothing. So I'm gonna go get some more permethrin. <laughs> so on top of the clothing that is being soaked and the snake gear that is being soaked, I have all the other gear and it consists of a metric butt ton of camera gear. Now, if you are an aspiring traveler, and you want to be able to travel light don't get into photography just like soak in the moment and stuff because uh what is going on with this thing oh hey look testing the garmin brian hughes is messaging me this is the garmin in reach so that we can message each other that's brian that's actually kind of cool i don't know how to make it stop What's up guys? Jill here at the Herptopia. I uh, don't know if you heard or not, uh, but we are headed to Peru. Yes, we leave on Monday and we're gonna be on for two weeks and I am coming out of my skin with excitement to get back to that country. It is absolutely beautiful and wonderful and amazing. And I just, I, yeah, I just cannot wait. We're gonna go get lost in the rainforest for a while with the critters. So tonight we are working on the critters, just making sure that everybody has tons and tons of extra water. It's crazy, you know, once you add rattlesnakes to the equation, people stop raising their hands to pet sit. So yeah, we gotta make sure that these guys are gonna be good for the duration of the trip. Just making sure everybody, everybody's got tons of water, enclosures are clean and uh, they're ready to be without us for two weeks. Ask me if I'm playing about bringing all of this uh, bug spray and bug lotion and bug spray over here. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. We like frost ourselves in this stuff and then we don't get eaten by bugs. This video is not sponsored by 
Picaridin, or Picaridin, or however you say it, but uh, it should be, because I bought enough of their stuff. So now I am putting together the goodie box. See, goodie box, goodie box, goodie box. Uh, the goodie box is coming along because one of the coolest things we get to do while we're out there is go visit a fishing village. It's a small little village. Um, these fine people live right off the Amazon River, way deep in the rainforest, and it's just absolutely amazing. So we get to go spend the day with them um, and see how they live. And they put together a market and they bring out all these magnificent things that they make and we bring things to trade with them. Um, so we bring, we're bringing out kids clothes, uh, shirts, adult stuff, shoes, flashlights, just all kinds of different things that they might need and use and want to trade with us. So um, like last time I got this amazingly beautiful tapestry that had a snake on it. Cool. And a little bowl, some bracelets, make necklaces. I mean, just all kinds of neat stuff. A candy for the kids and it's just, oh God, it's, it's just the best. We got this beautiful black tail rattlesnake, the juvenile. Yeah, gorgeous. That's a little one. Let's let it go. All right, well, that's a good snake to end the day on. I think I'm gonna take the rest of the night off, which does not happen very often. So that black tail really crossed a lot of homes to get to where it was at. That was the last house on the street. And it had to cross a, a little canal, which I'm so confused of um, why it would do that or why it was even over in that area. Thankfully, the gentleman saw it and that was his first rattlesnake he's ever seen. So that's so cool. Black tail rattlesnake for your first one. That's really awesome. But um, yeah, it all worked out.